Hi, this is Trevor. We're gonna go look at a couple houses today where we were able to help people move and take over the challenges that their houses provide, and we're gonna see how they're developing on some of our projects. Let's go see. All right, so this house we're going to first is a property out in Magna, Utah. It's a deal where I first met this gentleman in, gosh, I think it was June last year, and we're in March right now. So I met him in June, he wanted to sell his house, he's an old guy that lives by himself and he wanted to downsize because his yard was too much work and the house was too big for him. It's a four bedroom, two bathroom house and it's just him. So he wanted something smaller. So uh, we started looking for houses for him and my schedule just didn't play nice with what his was. So he went and got his own agent to try to find uh, a new property. But what I did with him is I made him an offer and guaranteed him, hey, I'll buy your house. And then I just said, whenever you find a house, let me know with two weeks notice at least, and we'll come back and buy your house. So he started looking for a house. It took him five months to put a house under contract. There were, there were times when I wondered if he was ever gonna find a house or ever move, but I still had that agreement to help him and to make it happen for him. So. He, uh, he finally found the house and he called me and said, Trevor, we want to close right at the end of the year, just after the week between Christmas and New Year's. And I said, okay. And he was like, really, that's all? I said, yeah, I've been waiting for a day for five months. I'm happy that you found a house. And he said, okay. And I don't think I spoke with him again for another three weeks. And he called me the week of closing and said, hey, are you ready? And I said, yep, just waiting for you. What day do you want me to send the money? So he gave me a day and we sent the money and he moved out. So since then, uh, we haven't done a whole lot of work to the house, which you'll see. It's in kind of the same condition as when we got it, but we marketed the property and we were able to sell it. And uh, you know, it's gonna be a great new home for a new buyer that uh, needed a place to live with his uh, daughter. In fact, the new buyer is moving from a divorce situation and he needed something that wasn't too expensive. So he was actually really glad that we didn't do a full remodel on the house because if we had done that, he probably would not have been able to afford the property. So this one kind of worked out all the way along and it's been a, from the day I met him until now, it's been almost nine months. But you know, we work at your schedule. We'd love to come out and see your house and uh, you know, if you don't call us, you'll never know if we can help you. This is just a standard house that we bought to help a seller out that needed to move and he didn't know when he was gonna go. So we made an agreement to buy this house and then he started looking and it took him five, six months before he moved, but we were still ready to buy his house and we made it happen for him. So come take a look, just a basic house with that yours might look like this and we can help you too. So this is a basic living room. This house was built in 1956. Uh, wood paneling on the walls and there is a light on the ceiling which is rare because a lot of houses back then just used outlets for lamps along the side. This beautiful paneling goes all through the house. Master bedroom. Yep, we'll buy a house with popcorn ceiling too. The bathroom's fully functional. That's always good. This back portion of the house is actually an addition. So there's an additional 12 by 12 feet for a dining room that was built on and this area doesn't have a basement, but it's extra square footage that the seller needed. Extra bedroom. and a cozy wood burning fireplace. If you have an old house that you need to sell, give us a call. You'll never know if we can help you unless you do.